you guys. Let's hit it. Take it easy. Keep up. Kaito-san, mind playing the part of Hashiki? Guess not. He was round here, yeah? How's this? Wow, you look so lifeless. You could get a job doing this. Oh, shut up. Okay, so, six months ago, just past 11 p.m., Hashiki and Shono finish drinking. Shono gets in a cab. Hashiki stays and argues with a man in a raincoat. After which he was found here, beaten half to death. But Shono got in the cab on Showa Street. Meaning Hashki and his friend went somewhere else just so they could have their little scuffle. It's definitely quieter here. Maybe this is always where the murderer planned to kill Hashki. And what makes you say that? I don't know. Just a hunch. Big Mr. Detective. Anyway, I think we got all we can. Nothing's gonna be left from six months ago. Yeah, you're right. Queen Rouge. <laughs> so even stuffy, honest scientists come to places like this. Hashki wasn't exactly honest, or a scientist. I was on Kajihira's payroll, remember? Looks like they're not open yet. Hope someone's in there. Hello? Is anyone here? We're not open yet, sir. May I ask who you are? I must also point out that this club is members only. Oh, uh, you know a Hushki from the ADDC? He told us to stop by. Hoshki-san? Sorry, I've never heard of him. All recommendations must come from a current member. You know Hoshki-san's dead, right? He got beaten to death six months ago, right after leaving your club. Who are you? You're clearly not cops. We're private investigators. The Yagami Detective Agency. We want to know what happened that night. You think I'm a goddamn elephant, man? I can't remember something from that long ago. We don't need you to tell us. You have girls working here, yeah? If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashki-san. Get out of my face. I have no obligation to help you. How about this? I'll talk to you once you're a member. If you can get a recommendation, that is. Let me say, though, our rates aren't exactly what I would call cheap. I don't have time to go hunt on a recommendation. Then get out of my face. Hold on. You guys are recruiting? And? Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Hmm. Well, she's not bad, I guess. Not bad? You, my friend, have impossibly high standards. Look, we only go for the hottest chicks. That's how we rake in the big bucks. But there's more to being hot than just looks. You gotta have something extra. 
Some charm, you know? What the hell are you doing, Kaito-san? Mafuyu's gonna be pissed. If you can think of a better way, be my guest. All Mafuyu's gotta do is get hired and find out what Shono and Hoshiki were talking about. Don't be an idiot. We can't ask her to do that. Hmm. Huh. In that case, how about her? <laughs> Sorry, son. She wouldn't stand more of a chance than Mafuyu did. Who else do we got? Whoa, whoa, who's that? Now there's a girl I want to see. Huh? huh? That photo's not doing her any favors, but polish her up and she'll shine like a diamond. Trust me, boys. See what I mean? Even Hoshino-kun's got the hots for her. Seriously? You run this club, yeah? That's right. Please bring that friend of yours over here. I want to see her for myself. Hell, I'll hire her on the spot. I think we can manage that. Come on, Tuck. Uh, I'll be waiting! Well, looks like we're sending salary sign in there. It's the quickest way. Easier said than done. How are we even gonna get her on board? I don't know. She likes dessert, right? Just give her something sweet and call it a day. You think she'd really go for that? I bring sweets to the office all the time. Sounds to me like you're gonna need the Kaito of desserts. A dessert to crush all other desserts. Oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Do I look like a dessert menu? This is all you, buddy. It was your idea, jackass. Going, Yagamishi. There's something I need help finding. <laughs> what is it this time? I need the king of desserts. Something that a sweet tooth hound would do anything to get. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. You think a modern woman's gonna fall for that one? Oh, yeah. Guys still do it, and girls still eat it up. Really? Dating sounds pretty stupid. But anyway, I'm up for a search. Hit me with some keywords. Hmm. Uh, let's try sweets and limited. Let's give it a shot. Sharing my screen with you now. Mm, hundreds of hits too many. Can't do a lot with results like that. <sighs> so much for limited. Let's try adding another word to narrow it down, Yagamishi. Incredible! You narrowed it down to one result! Really? Nice! Yagamishi. Oh, uh, this one isn't gonna work. Let's try a different word. Uh, that sort of works, but not well enough. Your girl especially into red beans? Nah, she's not too picky. Uh, how about we... Nope. Barely made a dent. Guess the whole country's dying from matcha. It's the only damn flavor anyone makes. What? Well, looks like that's out of the question. Let's uh, try something else. Yeah, that one brought it down a lot. <laughs> oh, smart, smart. I've never thought to go by the shop and not the snack. I mean, she can't have had a dessert from a store that just opened. That's my Yagamishi. Should be easy to keep going from here. Yeah. Let's toss Kamurocho into the mix. That did it. Mm, what do we have here? Famous Kyoto sweet shop Takemitsu's Kamurocho branch now open on Shichifuku Street. Perfect. I'll head over there now. You know those are limited quantity, right? I don't know if you can still get them this time of day. 
Guess I should get moving then. <laughs> I don't know who you're going through all this trouble for, but she's a lucky girl. Good luck, Yagamishi. Gotta run, Sukumo. Thanks again. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> raves about this place online. We're so lucky they opened a branch here in Kamurocho. Some kind of famous sweet shop, huh? No line, though. Guess they're sold out. Man, only one per person? Huh. Guess I can't complain. At least I got one. Look, pal. I don't care how long you've been running in Kyoto. If you want to open a shop in this town, you gotta follow the rules. I, I told you. I already submitted all my documents. We don't give a shit about your documents! This is about knowing your place! Uh, you don't mean, uh, uh, protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? Then who the hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. We're in the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. It, uh... uh... Um, well, uh, uh... This ain't a joke, asshole! We're talking here! You better beat it before this gets ugly. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh, yeah? Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. Huh. You think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? <laughs> we'll think again. Come on! Let's wreck this shithead! Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here! now and I won't call the cops. Now go. Damn it. Hey, uh, thank you so much, sir. Oh, that? That was nothing. As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. Uh, my apologies, sir. We're all sold out for today. Sold out? Ah, oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, uh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Huh? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and the like. There still should be some of those left. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I, I insist. Really? Well, I guess if you don't mind. Well, I, I should be going. Thank you again, sir.
Genda Sensei, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to Sorry san real quick? This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Take a seat. Genda Sensei wants to speak to you. Hey there, Yagami san. Take a seat. You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off, but you went and dug even deeper. Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. Sure, I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I gonna do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun too? Something came to me when I was in bed thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> Not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Every single person in Camarocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Thank you, Genda-sensei. One condition, though. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Saurisan. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Saurisan. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. <clears throat> It'll be fine, sorry, son. We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? What do you see when you look at saori san huh? No, it's not that. It's she's just... Really not into the idea. But why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori-san could be the 
best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Isn't that right, sorry son? If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? I'll do it. I'll be Kamarocho's number one hostess. That's what I'm talking about! Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she gonna be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hashki and Shona were talking about, right? Yeah. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. See? I knew you had it in you. Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah. But I'm kind of afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing sorry, son, how could it not? Yagami-san. The go-to place for Saori-san's dress is La Marche, over on Showa Street. That's where all the hostesses in Kamurocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Saori-san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this.